Hey, what is going on guys? It's Alex and we're going to be doing a coding video. So the website that we'll be using to find the coding problem is which his whole concept is to solve mathematical equations and everything with programming, but you need a little bit more knowledge than just math. So we're going to hit the first problem that he has in his archives, which is multiples of 3 and 5. If we list all the natural numbers before, below 10 that are multiples of 3 or 5, we get 3, 5, 6, and 9. Let's pay close attention to this. We see that 10 is not included, so we'll use that for later. The sum of these multiples is 23. Find the sum of all the multiples of 3 or 5 below 1,000. So what we're going to do is head over to replit.it. Um, we're going to be coding in Python today. So you can pause the video right now, go ahead and solve the problem, and then watch how I solve the problem myself. So the first thing that we want to do, we know we're going to have to store numbers into something. We have to get these, this list of numbers. So I just explain what we need to make. So we're going to make a list, an empty list called sum of multiples. So now what I want to do, I want to use a while loop. So we're going to need this variable to be at one. We're just going to name it anything. I'm just going to put it at A and then we create the while loop. And this while loop will be while A is less than a thousand, da 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 da. So, so now that we have the while loop, let's now do, hmm. If A, which is the number that's going to continuously go up by one, if A is multiple of three, well, yeah, if that's equal to zero, then we want to add that, which is sum of multiples, append, and we want to append A. Nope, nope, that's not, okay. Yeah, we wanna do that. So what that little percent sign does is, let's say you have 10 for an instance. If you have the number and then the percent sign, and then let's say two, it's gonna to equal to zero. It's always trying to show you the remainder that is left over um, when you put this. So if we choose 12, three goes into 12 four times, therefore there would be no remainder. But if we was to choose, let's say five, we would end up with a remainder of two. So this is very, an, an easy way for me to find multiples. So what we then want to do is create an else if, and then, so that's basically, if the first if statement doesn't work, we wanna check the second one, which will be the five. And we'll do the same thing for that basically appending that number to the list. All right. All right, so pretty much we have what we need here. Um, do not forget to add the increments. So basically it's gonna be incrementing by one each time because we want to check every number, every single number from one all the way up to 999. So cool. Let's see if we can run this real quick and then just print out the list um, that we have created for ourselves. Never hurts to do that. Ah, I apologize for that. That is a C++ um, tactic right there. <laughs> We're just gonna do it the long way. I'm trying to be fancy with it. Over here messing up. <laughs> okay, so here is every single number that is either a multiple of three or five. And it even, because we have an else if and not just an if, we are not gonna repeat numbers because if three doesn't work, then we'll go to five. So it catches everything. All right, so we have this list of numbers, uh, but we don't 
that's not what they asked for you know we found it we found the you know the multiples yay but we need to find the sum of all the multiples so let's go ahead and just do a for loop so for every i in sum of multiples so for every number in the list what do we want to do we want to first set this sum to zero well uh, we'll just say sums okay there we go sums to zero and we want to do this sums equal sums plus uh, i yeah and then what that will do is basically add all of these numbers together and we will want to print sums so let's see if this works and there you go to 233,168. So that's what they wanted. They wanted us to find the sum of all the multiples of three or five below a thousand. So it does say or. Um, so yeah, I did that. So uh, let me know what you got in the comments down below. Uh, message me if I might have made a mistake somewhere, if there's a way to make this code even better, more efficient. Uh, so yeah, just let me guys know. Uh, <laughs> let you guys let me know. And I'll see you guys later. Um, the couple of videos that will be coming out will probably not be the average, um, well, the normal college videos because I am in college currently and I'm still trying to balance classes and time and all that good stuff. So once we get all that fixed out or figured out, um, I should be having some better quality videos coming out. But in the meantime, there will be tutorials, coding, and everything like that. So this has been your boy Alex, your friendly neighborhood programmer, and I'll see you guys later.